Hi everyone, merhaba. This is Ayşenur Altan. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to make rolled börek with spinach filling. Börek is baked filled pastries made of a thin flaky dough such as filo or yufka sheets. It is typically filled with meat, cheese or vegetables. I have many variety of börek recipes on my channel including one you can make from scratch. But in this version we are going to use yufka sheets to make it. You will be amazed how delicious it will be with the spinach filling. Let's get started. I'm going to begin by making my spinach filling. I diced one big size onion, sauteing it in about 4-5 tablespoons olive oil. And here I have 750 grams of fresh spinach. I washed it for a couple of times until it is pickly clean from the soil. I begin to chop it roughly and add it to my onion. I have medium high heat. If it's too low, it will make the spinach juicy, so it is important here. I'm just going to continue to cut the spinach and add it and saute until it's cooked truly. For the seasoning, I'm gonna add salt, red pepper flakes, either it can be hot or uh, sweet, and black pepper. That's it. Sometimes I add a white cheese painter to a spinach filling, but this time I wanted to just taste the spinach only. And I continue to cook for five minutes and it's done. I turn off the heat. Let's make this sauce for our börek. I have half cup olive oil. If you want, you can use vegetable oil too. And going to use two big size eggs. Give it a good whisk until it is incorporated. And add 3 fourth of a cup plain yogurt. It is homemade. I shared the recipe on the channel. I will put the links. But if you are interested, I can also share how you can make it in jars. It is really practical. Added some salt, about half teaspoon and mix it well. Our sauce is ready. So this is our Turkish yufka sheets. These are hand rolled and lightly pre-baked so you can handle it easily and shape it to a different style of börreks. Now these you can find them in uh, Turkish markets or even in Greek markets they also have filo sheets and they have number for the thickness. Make sure to get the thickest one. Here I just drizzled the sauce over the yufka and spread it to the sheet. You can either use brush but I learned from my mother to fold it from the sides and it's easier actually. Now it's time to add the spinach filling. It is better to spread it a little bit rather than put it all along to one side. And just simply cut it from the half and roll it. If you are using filler sheets, it will be probably rectangular. Then uh, you can use one sheet uh, per one roll. It will be uh, enough in thickness. Since my yufka is very big, to make it thinner, I just cut it in half and then roll it. Here is the second one. It doesn't have to be very tight. 
better to have some air packets inside so it can cook better and just uh, roll it over the first one I'm using a round big baking pan uh, but some of you cannot find it maybe so uh, it is of course okay to use rectangular pan too and I'm gonna continue to uh, roll the yufka sheets until I finish my filling and I used four and a half uh, yufka and it was about 700 grams in total uh, one more note if you are using filler sheets again if it's uh, too thin you can also uh, double the sheets and then roll it it's just up to you I just wanted to get some extra space for my last half yufka and it's done I have little bit left from the sauce so I added a bit more olive oil and yogurt and brushed the top of the barrack generously with the sauce This time I want to sprinkle some nigella seeds and sesame seeds on top but it's optional you might not like it or don't have it it's okay my oven is preheated in 200 celsius degree and I cooked for about 40 minutes until it is golden color on top and bottom Of course, I'm not gonna let you go before I show how it looks after it is served. I'm gonna cut it in triangles. It's the best way to serve it, but you can also make it smaller in size. You can see all the rolled layers it's soft inside, crunchy outside. It was a nice sunny afternoon. I was with my daughter and even though it goes best with some Turkish tea or Iran yogurt drink, especially for summer, we decided to drink coffee with it. You can do this delicious barrack with other fillings also as I said in the beginning like cheese, a white cheese especially, potato filling or a ground beef. Please do check the links in the description box below for more filling ideas and more recipes like this. Thanks for watching, make sure to leave a comment and like and subscribe if you haven't yet. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs. Afiyet olsun.